Uh, good afternoon. Just wanted to make some uh, brief comments uh, about the testimony of Mr. Lewandowski today. Um, we have requested that he be subpoenaed to return to answer certain sets of questions he was unwilling to answer today um, that were very pertinent to our investigation. Uh, these included questions about the uh, production of the false statement concerning the Trump Tower meeting, questions about uh, the firing of James Comey and conversations uh, about that, uh, as well as uh, any discussions uh, that Mr. Lewandowski had with the President uh, about uh, the potential of, of firing Bob Mueller. Um, these other questions went unanswered. Uh, Mr. Lewandowski did answer a whole set of other questions uh, concerning his time after the campaign. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, witnesses don't get to pick and choose uh, when it comes to very relevant testimony to our investigation. So we have requested a subpoena. Uh, whether that will be granted by the majority or not, I cannot say. They're taking it under consideration. Um, but we feel it very important not only to getting to the, the truth in terms of our investigation, but also in terms of the broader precedent that it sets that we not allow witnesses to come in and tell us what they're willing to answer and what they won't. Uh, and I'd be happy to answer just a couple questions. What, would the, what, was, the what was the rationale about the questions? Uh, well, uh, the rationale was they didn't believe it was relevant. Uh, and we emphasized uh, repeatedly that was not their determination to make. And, of course, whether the administration uh, knowingly made false statements about meetings with Russians is very relevant to our investigation. Uh, whether there were actions taken to impede the investigation, obstruct the investigation is also very relevant. Uh, so it was a meritless objection, but uh, that was the, uh, the at least proffered reason why they refused to answer. You said the White House intervened in any way uh, to Mr. Lewandowski tell him not to answer these questions. And also, did you get any support from Republicans when you raised these concerns about his lack of uh, answers to these questions? Uh, I don't want to get into the specifics of uh, uh, conversations. Um, all I can say, you know, vis-a-vis -vis whether the committee will insist on getting answers, um, that is being taken uh, under uh, advisement by the majority. Uh, I think they are struggling to determine how, if at all, to distinguish between these witnesses. Uh, in our view, they ought to be all treated the same way. Uh, we shouldn't be saying that we're going to insist on answers from Steve Bannon, but uh, not from Hope Hicks or not from Corey Lewandowski, or we'll insist on answers to some questions but not others and allow the witnesses to decide what they think is pertinent. Did the White House intervene? Uh, uh, as we understand it, in the past, the Republicans have shut down these requests for subpoenas in real time. Uh, what's the reason that they're simply taking it under advisement now? Is this about attendance today, perhaps on a getaway day? And was there any discussion about future interviews and what might be still forthcoming in terms of this investigation? Um, it wasn't, uh, I, I think, a function at all of uh, this being getaway day. Um, uh, we had ample representation uh, during the interview. Um, we still haven't gotten an answer, frankly, on whether we will move forward with contempt on Steve Bannon. They were quite unequivocal at the time on the need to insist on answers, but have been very quiet since. Um, so I think they're still grappling with this. Uh, there is really no way to distinguish these witnesses except some are in favor and some are out of favor at the White House. That's not a legitimate basis uh, to distinguish when it comes to whether we compel people to give us the information, the facts that we need. So in terms of the investigation going forward, um, there are any number of witnesses that are very relevant that have not come before our committee. Um, those that had a role, for example, in writing the speech that President Trump gave uh, prior to the Trump Tower meeting where he promised he was going to be revealing things about Hillary Clinton. Um, we know Steve Miller had a role in his speech writing and he's not been brought before the committee. There are others that had knowledge that the meeting was going to take place prior to it taking place that we've asked that have not become before the committee. Uh, and of course, um, there are large categories of documents that need to be subpoenaed, including communications between the likes of Roger Stone and others and WikiLeaks, the President's son and WikiLeaks um, direct uh, messaging that we should subpoena from the providers that we haven't. So there are a number of steps that I think any credible investigator would say these need to be done, uh, and we still hope that they will be. Have your Republican Thank colleagues, you. did the White House intervene today, though? The what was the atmosphere like? There was a lot of talk about conflict in English. Did you describe it as? Uh, it was at times. Did you all get any interest in 